As live streaming continues to get more popular, one of the best ways to stand out and really express your creativity is to have multiple camera angles. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I stream with multiple cameras using an Elgato CamLink Pro and a Stream Deck to switch between them. Let's get into it. You gotta just press record. What's up, Sean Cannell here, and welcome back to Think Media. And let's dive into the dream home office live streaming setup that I've been building over the last few months. Now, my purpose in building this setup is for a couple different practical things. One is I speak at different virtual events, so I wanted to be able to level up uh, my presence at virtual events with multiple camera angles. You know, we have an event called Grow With Video Live here at Think Media, and a couple years back, Pat Flynn was our one of our best speakers because he actually brought such a dynamic live stream setup to that virtual keynote that he gave. And so I kind of wanted to say, how can I imitate that when it comes to virtual stages? But the main use of this setup is live streaming here on Think Media, on our Think Media podcast channel, multi-streaming across platforms. And my favorite software to use for that is called StreamYard. In fact, this video is brought to you by StreamYard and I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. So for all of that, I wanted to reverse engineer a setup that would be super dependable. And so I asked myself, am I gonna go software based and try to create some kind of a virtual camera with OBS and it's kind of a steep learning curve and software based can have dependability issues because all of your live streaming stuff is based on software or do you go hardware based? And I wanted to build something that was super sturdy. So that's when I discovered the CamLink Pro capture card. If you've ever seen the cam link before, it's a simple device that you just plug into a USB port and now you can plug in an HDMI cable and essentially start using a fancier camera as a webcam. Well, the cam link pro is kind of that on steroids. So you actually get four HDMI inputs and what's powerful about it is it's actually an internal card that plugs into your PC. Really the challenge with the cam link is again, it's USB based. So if you try to do multiple cameras, you might overload your USB bandwidth in your computer. In this case, you actually have more stability and really kind of like heavier lifting in terms of computer hardware. And so that's why I wanted to go with the CamLink Pro. Now, after you install the card and plug in all the cameras through HDMI cables, the next question is, how are you going to control and operate it? And the cool thing is Elgato has software that allows you to capture the different camera feeds if you want to, but it also integrates with the second big piece of this setup, and that is the Elgato Stream Deck, because these two devices really work together in a cool way so that you can pull your Stream Deck near you when you're live streaming and then easily tap between the different camera angles switching your sources. Again, you have four different HDMI inputs. And so the one-two punch of this four HDMI input capture card and the software controller of the Elgato Stream Deck just seemed like kind of the dream solution for me when it came to live streaming. Now, if you found this video educational so far, smash the like button. And I wanna show you a couple tips and tricks for this setup in just a second. But today's video is brought to you by StreamYard. StreamYard is how we live stream to our channels like Think Media and the Think Media Podcast channel, as well as our private Facebook groups. Whether it's having smooth transitions from your slides back to your face, or uploading videos to share on your stream, or even bringing on multiple guests for interviews, StreamYard makes live streaming easy. You can try StreamYard today by clicking the link in the description below. So let's talk about the actual cameras and how this is all set up together. So right now the CamLink Pro is plugged into my streaming PC behind this first monitor here. We've got the Stream Deck right here where I can switch between the three different angles and I have one port unused at this moment. And then what I have is some ArcScan heavy duty camera desk clamp tripods, although it's not really tri, it's it's a singular arm. And we tried a couple different versions of these. Some of them are too flimsy and there's too much camera shake. So I really love this particular model. Then on top of these, we put Olnazi ball heads. Uh, they do come with a ball head, but it gave us a little bit more height on this middle one. By the way, I'll put links in the description down below to all the different gear and pieces that we use for this setup. But the two main cameras are Sony A6400s. 
There's a couple dummy batteries inside of those cameras, so they're powered continuously and a couple Tamron lenses on these cameras. One is a wide lens, 11 to 22.8, which is nice for this front angle. I can go super wide, more webcam, or a little bit more zoomed in at 20 millimeters. And then this one is a 17 to 70, 2.8 fixed lens that uh, looks great for that side shot. And then the third camera is the Sony ZV-1. So that is a fixed lens camera. It's not interchangeable, but it looks incredible. And even though the sensor is a little bit smaller than the other cameras, there's definitely enough lights from the Elgato key lights um, to really make the whole scene pop. And because all cameras are Sony, the color science really matches and looks great. Now, if you have any questions about this setup or want any future videos to cover any of the details, let me know in the comment section below. But let's jump into StreamYard now to actually see what this setup looks like when I'm actually live. This is kind of camera number one. I'm on an A6400 Tamron 11 to 22.8. And this over here is also an A6400. Um, we've got a Tamron 17 to 70. And so I'm able to get real intimate as well as fix 2.8. And these two cameras uh, match really nice because they're, of course, the same sensor, same body, same lens manufacturer. And then the third angle is a Sony ZV-1. And that is a fixed lens camera. You can't change the lens, but it starts at 1.8. Um, it does have some zoom on it, which is nice. And you could get real, real interesting. How's that? Good to see you microphone. There we go. We're, we're locked focus now. So there's the Sony ZV-1 angle, which is kind of cool. And you can switch back and forth wherever you want to go. And uh, the idea here, of course, is when you can change camera angles, you can boost audience retention, keep things more engaging and more interesting. Now, I know there's been a ton of information in this video, but I went ahead and compiled a kit of all the gear all in one place. And if you wanna check that out, I put that in the YouTube description below, but we didn't even get to the audio side. If you're curious how I live stream with music and sound effects and the details about the mic and the Rodecaster Pro and all of that stuff, just click or tap the screen to check Check out that video where I break it all down or you can click or tap the screen to watch the complete studio tour as well. Until then, smash like if you got value and I'll see you in the next video.